What's up guys, this is Vanderflace here, and today I got a new Fortnite update video. This isn't my normal patch notes type of video, this is more of a state of development type of video. So in this video, I'm going to be going over some of the things that the Fortnite team has been working on behind the scenes, and I, I'm really excited to see what they've done in the game and what they're adding to it. So some of the things that they're, like, some of the bullet points that we're going to go over are the controller configuration, so like improvements to certain button combinations and improvements to how the building works um the ltms and items performance quality of life and the replay system so uh before i get into this please leave a like and subscribe to my channel i know i've been getting a lot of people watching my channel and i really appreciate it and if you guys could do that you know that'd be really great so let's get into the video so one of the things that they're improving is Builder Pro. They're trying to make it feel more consistent than inconsistent. And I really like that they're doing that because I run Builder Pro, but it I don't know, I'm not really a fan of it either, but I, I think that they should make it a little bit more difficult to use building abilities, but that's just me. So uh, the Turbo building has also been improved. The edit mode and aim assist will be improving. The custom binds, or custom binding. So, this is something that I was thinking that would be really cool if they added the game. And I, I don't know, I was expecting it would eventually happen. Is to be able to make your controller setup do whatever it wants. Like, be able to basically set it up as a keyboard. That's basically what they're trying to do. They're setting up the controller so it's like a keyboard, and you can set whatever buttons you want to, you know, whatever you want it to be. So it's more comfortable for the player to play the game. So limited time modes and items. Uh, they've done some things to the solo showdown. They uh, haven't really done that much. They haven't really said what they did to it, but... They want to make it so that there's a competitive playlist inside the game at all times, or at least I think at all times. They haven't really specified that either. And um, they, they really want to make it so that players who want to play competitive can play a competitive mode, not just the regular solos, duos, or squads. So the jetpack has been added to the game. We've already known about this, but the Close Encounters... LTM, it goes live today, which I was on the game earlier today, and I didn't see it, so I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. So, they've also are going to, they're, they're also going to be adding a limited time mode that's very cool that I've been wanting to see for a while now, and it's called the Playground LTM. Basically, basically, it's a sandbox mode. So, what they're explaining is the battle, the the playground LTM will load you into the battle royale map with some adjusted settings. Battle and build to your heart's content with extended period of time to roam around the map, as well as increased resource generation. All treasure chests and ammo crates will be spawned, and then try dropping in different spots and scope out the loot. Friendly fire is on, so you can scrimmage with your squad up to four friends per match, but Fear not, you'll respawn immediately. Oh, and there's loads of llamas. So, that is really cool that you can do that. And I'm assuming that when you respawn, you're just going to spawn like how, if you played the, the Thanos um, Infinity Gauntlet mode, that you're just going to fall from the sky, just, you know, how it was in that mode when you were playing as Thanos, if you ever got a chance to do that. So, uh, a note is that the stats and challenges will not be tracked in this mode. So, like I said, it's a sandbox mode. You're not really going to get anything that goes towards it. It's just going to be all creative, and it's just it's pretty cool that they're doing this with the game, and I really cannot wait to play it. They're also doing uh, some performance. Uh, they're tracking hitches in the game, and they're trying to make it so it's much more fluent and uh, much better. They're optimizing load times, improving server performance, server position updates, client network updates, the quality of life on the game. They're um, 
improving the challenge progress progress notifications, improving the world in world markers. They're improving the Victor Royale screen, so it's a much more memorable experience. The high resolution mini map, so it's much more detailed and easier to read and understand where you're going. They're improving the footstep and vertical audio system so that it's much easier to identify locations of players by their footsteps. The spectator UI is also being improved so that you can see the item inventory, ammo, crosshairs, building edits, compass, and markers. And they're also doing some changes with the cosmetics so that, let's say you have a, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but when you look at an item and it says it's part of this set, whenever you, I guess, get all the pieces, they're going to give you something special for having all of the pieces together as one set. So that's very cool that they're doing that. So people are definitely going to be buying a lot more than they usually have. And it's definitely good for them because they're going to make a lot of money from it. They're also improving the replay system. They're making it so it's much more up to date. We've got, you know, different uh, camera features and, uh, you know, refining the map so that and the replays are much more functional, and so that's very cool that they're doing that. So that's just a quick rundown of, of like some of the stuff that they're doing. If you want to read all the specifics, I will leave the patch notes, or not the patch notes, the link in the description of to the the news of the state of the development. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, leave a like and subscribe, and yeah, I will I will see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.